Okay, in this video, I'm going to give you a, some more insight as to the type of the models that I'm building that I'm going to make available for sale on my Sci-Fi Animated website pretty soon. And like I had mentioned in the previous videos, these are going to be 3D models, not with textures, but 3D models with physics effects built in. And a lot of that means it's a lot of Python code behind the scene that you never have to learn about. You just have to add it to the scene. All right. And so, like for instance, in this case, I have a propane tank in the tornado simulator. And this has that detonation effect tied to it as well. So instead of it being a cube like in the last video, I have it in the shape of a propane tank. Easy enough. So for instance, even if you had a simple detonator, you could remodel it to make it look however you want. That's not the issue. And still the code behind the scene would still work to make this happen. All right. So if I run this here, and if I get the tornado, let me see, I know he's down there somewhere, and I'll run it down the scene. And in this particular case, instead of having this triggered by a mouse click or mouse movement or a keyboard, this gets triggered by a touch sensor. So if something, if one of the objects that gets flung by the tornado happens to run into the propane tank, it'll automatically explode on its own, just like that. All right, because that effect is not so simple to try and pull off otherwise all right so just kind of that kind of gives you an idea where I'm heading with it and just wanted to point that out and I'll see you in the next video